Welcome back everybody. Today we are discussing frozen air conditioners and what you can do and check to save some money. So today we're looking at a train system. What you are going to see is ice on the insulated line. It'll be, it'll be white right here. Or you might go outside and you may see ice on the outside unit. It's going to be on the large copper line that's insulated. If you see these things, that's because your inside coil is frozen up and the ice has made it all the way out here. There's a couple of things you want to do before you call an AC tech that you could solve this yourself. There's two things that cause this to happen. Number one, low airflow. Number two, low refrigerant pressure. Today we're going to talk about the airflow issue because that's the easiest one to take care of. So let's get started. What you will need is either a 5 16 or quarter inch nut driver, a wire brush, and evaporator, no rinse, cleaner. I'm going to put the link to that right there. Because you have found ice, you need to thaw that ice. Even if you were to call an AC tech right now and he shows up at your house, he's going to thaw that ice and it's probably going to take three hours. And all he's going to do is turn your fan to on, your system to off. We're going to thaw this out for three hours before we move on to the steps. Step one, check your air filter. Is this air filter clean? This one is clean. If it's dirty, you're going to want to change that. Step two, is the fan operating? If the coil is frozen over, you may not be able to feel that there's air moving. So we want to take off the electrical panel and we're going to take off this panel where the lines go, the copper lines go into so that we can get to the coil. First thing you want to do is cut the breakers. On this unit, they're right here. You may have to go to a different part of your house to get to them. Turn them off for, for a minute. Okay, we're going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, five, sixteen screws. This is also the time to go to your thermostat, turn the system to off. Make sure the fan is in auto. The panels are off now. So in order to check the fan, I simply want to go back to my breaker, turn it on. Go to the thermostat, turn the fan to the on position. Now with the panels off, you should be able to see if it's rotating in there. Okay, that fan is rotating. So I'm going to suspect the next thing is a dirty coil. This is an A-style coil because if I were to draw it on a piece of paper from this direction, it would look like an A. Okay, this is, a, this is the clean coil. Okay, you want to check all four sides. This is the top, okay? Our airflow goes in where the filter is. It goes up through the blower and then out the top. So looking at the top on this one really doesn't do anything, okay? but if you go underneath the unit, you could even just put your pump under here. And we're gonna look underneath and you can see that this coil is clean this is what it should look like over the years I've seen plastic bags trash bags cat hair dog hair different types of things that have sucked in there okay if you find that it's dirty you simply are going to use your wire brush to clean it. Now, something to note, if you see these little pieces of metal, 
They're very easy to lay over if you were to go side to side with your wire brush, okay? You do not want to go this way. You want to go top to bottom. And if there's some kind of debris or something on there, I'm not really going to push down with my wire brush. I'm simply going to kind of sweep it away with as little pressure as I can. Okay? Then, once you get all of the debris off of there, you're going to use the evaporator coil cleaner. I'll put a link to us to one right here. I'm not sponsored. It's just a product I've used over the year and I know it works. And you'll just spray your coil. Spray your coil. And it'll do the work itself. That's it. Hope this video helps. Subscribe and like my channel. Good luck.